Let's get to the biggest story from last night. Kristaps Porzingis ejected from his first career playoff game last night, received a technical foul in the first half, and then received an additional tech for coming to the aid of Luka Doncic after some little physicality with Marcus Morris in the third quarter. Drew quite the reaction from some big names on Twitter. Mavs legend Dirk Nowitzki wrote, that ejection is super soft. LeBron James chimed in. Man, that was bogus as hell, man. And even Super Bowl MVP Pat Mahomes chiming in. That's trash, man. So, Scotty, did that ejection cost the Mavericks the game, in your opinion? Oh, yes, for, for sure. I mean, that was the game that the Dallas Mavericks had an opportunity to put a big shift in this series. And I thought Porzingis played great. Uh, being that it was his first playoff game, I thought he really made a stance, made a presence that, you know, he was going to dominate the, the paint or at least let them know that, that he was in the paint. But I, I, I thought he played a tremendous game defensively. I felt like that the technical foul that he got in the first half was unwarranted. Uh, I felt like the officials was not allowing the players to react. I mean, this is the playoff, so you're going to see more emotions, more reaction from the players. But I felt like the, the, the second technical Again, the officials should have reacted. I felt like Luka Doncic took a lot from that drive going to the basket from uh, Marcus Morris, and the officials let him get a little rough with him, and that's where Paul Porzingis stepped in. But it should have been another teammate step in. For sure, someone should have stepped in. It shouldn't have been Porzingis. Bad mistake on his side, and it cost them the game. No, I, like Scotty, I, I agree. I think this cost him the game. But a couple of things that we have to pay attention to here. One, when you really break it down, that first fist pump, the tech, or, or the play was rescinded. So they actually took away the foul, but the technical stood. And then the next part that I want to at is we talked about the Clippers' physicality. Like, and when we say physicality, that's just not tough defense. That's little bitty extra stuff. That's Patrick Beverly getting under your skin. That's Morris throwing, and not, not in a malicious way, but just more of like setting a tone. So when the Clippers start to do these things, that's when it becomes like your, your job as a player to stay locked in mentally. We saw it with Patrick Beverly and Kevin Durant in that first round series last year. So they're going to do these little bitty things that are going to happen all season long. You have to keep yourself, as much as it it was soft as much as it was weak you also expected this so Porzingis unfortunately this was a bad bad thing there was nothing no way for him to kind of really defend his teammate without escalating quote unquote the situation but ultimately it cost him the game and he has to be smarter he has to understand that that's what the Clippers are going to do to them and they're going to do it for this entire playoff run. Yeah, and to his credit Richard look that is what he came out and said after the game he didn't say this is you know unfair or screw them he said I have to be smarter about that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And it is what the Clippers do. Frankly, it should be on the scouting report for the Mavericks. But remember, the Mavericks are a young team without playoff experience. Four of the five guys who started last night for Dallas, that was their first playoff game ever. So some of this, you just got to learn, right? You just got to learn that, especially in the postseason, guys are going to come at you trying to bait you into doing stuff, and you have to not react. I would also say that the environment in Orlando, having watched so many games down there, it is quieter than you might hear on TV because TV, you have that crowd noise elevated a little bit. So the officials hear almost everything, and that is why I think technicals are up. Um, we might see more of that as we go on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.